I just want to show you really quickly for our little open house, one of the most fun um, uh, materials that I love to use are these just little, uh, these, these say fold over, but I use the flat, flat cards. Um, the reason I use this, these cards, um, in the Echo White or in the White, are that they're just the most perfect hot pressed watercolor paper, which is what I typically use for my art. Oh, sorry. And um, when I went to Italy this summer, I, instead of taking my sketchbook around with me, I would just haul these little um, cards with me. And they're just four by six size. You can order them, you know, um, larger, smaller. And they're just perfect. You can do a sweet little sketch like this one, those honey jars. I just added a branch in here. I added a couple little blooms, some bees. Um, super, super easy to go back in and watercolor on top of. So what I would encourage you to do if you're taking this class is to grab some of those um, cards or really any kind of watercolor card that is. Sorry, my camera is trying to find its focus. Um, any kind of card that it, that is um, easy for you to take with you and something that is easy to sketch on in case um, you don't want to carry, you know, a larger sketchbook with you. I met at market and um, I met so many, <laughs> I met so many of these furry creatures that I just thought we have got to do this as part of our class. So we have some really, I have some really special projects in mind. Um, for those of you that are pet lovers, dog lovers, um, if you just love the cuteness that you see when you go to farmer's market, I don't know if you are going to be able to attend a farmer's market or if you're just going to come along with me, but we've got all kinds of funky, funny dogs. And I thought just to be silly, I would just do this fluffy little dog right here, and I want to give him that big old circle around his eye. What kind of dogs are those? Help me out guys. They're so cute. Give him a cute little eyebrow on that side. And I'm not going to be too careful about my sketch because we're going to go in and um, do our detail work with our pen in just a minute. What I thought he might do is hold some darling um, farmer's market balloons for us. So I thought my first one, of course, is a radish. <laughs> now, why not? Have you ever seen a radish balloon? Well, there's always a first, right? There's always a first for everything. So let's just do a radish shape, and we'll just do that so hot pink. That's going to be so cute. Really, someone's going to want to do this now and make like a million dollars. You're going to be like, oh, I painted that with Janelle that one time. Farmer's market balloons. Cuteness. Okay, so this will be just some green leaves coming out of the top, right? And hot, hot, hot pink. And what else did I that was so gorgeous and fresh at Farmer's Market this week. Oh, carrots. Let's do, let me see. We'll just do a funky little carrot. Why not? Okay. And our little puppy dog right here is just going to be holding all these strings for us. It's kind of a sad radish. We've got to perk that radish up, don't we? Maybe we'll do the carrot going sideways this way. Let's do that instead. This is why you need to have a really good eraser. Not this one. You need to um, carry, always carry a big fat white eraser with you in your bag. I promise. It's like a MacGyver thing. It just comes in handy all the time. <laughs> all right. So, how about a carrot, and then back here, let's do a, um, let's just do an apricot or a peach. Right here, and 
floating, 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 just because of the color and the fun of it, we'll just do some grapes. Okay? And our little guy, somehow we're going to get him to hold all those strings. How should we do that? Let's see. Let's do this one this way. And these all coming down this way. We'll just have him hold him. I was going to have him hold him in his mouth, but we'll just have him hold him down here. Little paws are. Okay? So now what we need to do, because this is such a loosey-goosey sketch, we usually um, are a little more careful in our sketches, but today's open house, for heaven's sakes. We're just going to have fun. Actually, the whole class is fun. The whole class is just going to be spontaneous and fun and silly and delicious. My sister makes the best, 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 most delicious things. And she is like me with sketches. She's like me with um, food. You guys are just going to be shocked. She can just come up with all kinds of crazy at the drop of a hat. So, okay, let's just get started with that. What do you think? Do you like it already? We could put celery or something over here. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You don't want a celery balloon. I'm like, what do you have against celery? I don't know. I don't know. If we come up with another, we could do an herb. You could do a little basil leaf. And now we're getting weird. That's just too weird, right? Okay, grab your water and your paintbrush. We're just going to use some simple watercolors for this. I'm just going to grab out my set of watercolors here. Grab my uh, water. And let's just use a little flat brush. Make sure before class that you get yourself some watercolor watercolor brushes. You want a couple of different flats, a small one like this and a medium flat. You want a couple angled shaders. I have all of that written on the supply list for you. Okay. And you'll also want to have a liner and two you might want to have a mop. Okay. So let's just go in here and like always we don't ever just do one color so we're going to mix up our watercolors here a little bit. Oops. All right. Because we started out really loosey-goosey, we're going to keep it that way. Okay? So don't be afraid. We're just going to not be too careful with our color. This is just mostly blocking in color. So we're not being too careful with our lines. We are just going to put our color in and let it move around. Try to not, you know, touch the two because they're both wet. And if we touch the two, then they're going to mix, right? Because they like to be married. They like to be friends. We do. So we need to be careful to keep them separated just a little bit. Let's go in here with some yellow. Since this is really orange, we'll do our carrot more yellow. And then let's just go for it with those grapes and make them purpley purple. Okay. And then we will also add some pinky red and let those dry. We'll see how that looks. Remember all of our watercolors always dry a little bit lighter. So that's when we get to go back over and glaze it with just one more layer of color. Okay, easy, easy. And we're going to loosely put block in our greens. As you can tell, I'm not being too careful because our pen is going to help us make up the difference. Okay, a couple different colors of green. And add some yellow to our green down here just to change it up. 
a little yellow out here. And a tiny bit more yellow. Those spots, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we got everything dry. And I went over it with a nice quick blue wash, which I'll show you how to do in class. It's very simple, and um, you're going to be highly skilled at all kinds of washes, I promise. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is take our pen, my favorite little sketching pen, and just go in here. And I had my son look up the kind of dog that I was trying to do. <laughs> Thankfully, he knew exactly how to look it up, and it is an American Pitbull Terrier. It's like the little guy on Little Rascals. Remember that little dog that was so darling? So we're going to give him this big eye over here. And then this side we'll just do the funky eyebrow. And these Pitbull Terriers have the ears fold. So he's got some nice folding ears right here. The ears I had were kind of more for a lab, I think. And then he's obviously much thinner than this, but I made him rather portly. So we will just get, fix him right here. What, Josh? It's a Staffordshire. Staffordshire. Staffordshire what? Terrier. 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 Okay, so there's two different names. A Staffordshire Terrier. Terrier or an American Pit Bull Terrier or Petey the Pup. How about that? All right, so let's pair up balloons in here. And, oh, they're going to be so cute. Look at this big old gorgeous, gorgeous radish balloon. Who does that? That is just so fun. Show movement. Show some air kind of floating around here. We'll put some squiggles in there. Get our grapes going here. And our grape leaves <clears throat> up here. Okay, you guys, I'm not kidding. I just think that the best thing you can possibly do for yourself as an artist is to get away from your computer for a bit. And, well, not while you're doing the class, obviously, but go out and be inspired by things that... Um, are not inside. Let's go be inspired by nature. Let's go be inspired by all the gifts that these vendors um, bring us with their fresh food and fresh bread and go out and meet all these adorable dogs and their owners and be inspired to eat healthier food and get some exercise and sunshine. What do you think? You guys ready with me? Have a party? All right. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, the last thing I want to do is do a tiny bit of messy white pen just to show the highlights where the sun's hitting these balloons. Fix the top of his head a little bit because I got a little too much crazy going on. clean up some of these. The, the hard part about pencil lines with watercolor is once they're down and you have watercolored on top of them, they're not coming up. But if you haven't, if it's just white space, sometimes you can pull the extra pencil lines off. Okay, I love it. And we're just going to put in here a um, uh, little Welcome. A little welcome. Oh, he's so cute. He's just so cute. Okay, guys. Hey, welcome to class. If you haven't decided to jump in yet, we're going to be doing tons of projects from um, acrylics to watercolor. We're going to do some really basic shapes for those of you who haven't done painting before. And for those of you that have, you're just going to be on a wild adventure with me. We're just going to come up with all kinds of crazy stuff to 
um, inspire us and um, help us build our body of work, okay? All right, jump in, see you soon.